Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys today. Um, it's been almost a month and everybody has been waiting for me to do this video. So the day is finally here where I am going to do the biggest Tarte Cosmetics haul that I have ever done and possibly that you might have ever seen. So I have this huge box of goodies here that I'm going to go through. I'm going to do some swatches on them. I'm going to um, give you my opinions and stuff on some of the products. Um, the face that I'm wearing today, everything that I have on right now is all products from this box that I have. They're all Tarte Cosmetics um, products. Everything that I've used today eyeliner, lipstick, everything. So I'm going to show you guys. I'll probably insert a picture somewhere. Probably list them down below as well for you guys in case you're interested to know what I have on here today. So um, before I get started with this video, uh, if you could please, I'd just like you to subscribe. I'll link a button somewhere on the screen here for you guys to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. And uh, if you are on a mobile device, then there is a subscribe button that will be down below that you can click to subscribe to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you would like to see some uh, I don't know, maybe like some makeup tutorials or if you would like to know my opinion or give you some more reviews on things as I use more things, then just comment down below and let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you. So some of the products I did use in here, some I did not use, so I will give you, be giving you guys my honest opinion on the things that I use. There are some things that I do like and there are some things that I didn't really like so much. So. Let's just uh, go ahead and hop right into this video, shall we? Hi guys, I want to do a little disclaimer that all of these products that I got, I did get for free um, from an Instagram uh, contest, I guess you would call, that I won. Um, this video is not sponsored. I am not being paid for this video whatsoever. I did not have to do this video. I just did this video because it was highly requested from a lot of people. Um, to do this type of video so that they could see everything that I decided to get. So, um, no way sponsored. All the opinions are my own. Um, I guess that's pretty much all I really needed to say. Basically, just to give a little rundown of what it was. It was an Instagram uh, contest where they had posted a picture and you had to post it and you had to be following two people, which I did all of that. And... Um, Whenever it was a couple weeks later, I totally forgot all about the contest and then all of a sudden my Instagram was like blowing up and I was like, oh my god, I just won $1,000 in Tarte Cosmetics. So, I was super excited. I couldn't even believe that this happened to me. I've never won anything like this in my whole entire life. So, I was so excited and so grateful and so thankful to win that. So, I really thank Tarte Cosmetics and as well as Wake Up and Makeup on uh, Instagram and Nail Decor. Those are the two people that hosted this um, giveaway so thank you so much for this um, you will never know how grateful I am for this um, so the second thing people are probably wondering if this was a thousand dollars of makeup how come you have twelve hundred dollars worth of makeup so the reason for that is is because they gave me two codes to spend of five hundred dollars each and when you spend five hundred dollars on the Tarte website you get these points and every time you spend five hundred dollars you get a fifty dollar voucher so I ended up getting three vouchers and when I order something in Canada from the Tarte website, you have to spend $75 or more to get free shipping. I did not have to do that. I could have just took the $50 and used the $50 um, towards whatever I wanted and then just paid for the shipping and left it at that, but I decided to put in a little bit of my own money so that I could get the free shipping and basically that's what I did. So uh, I ended up spending only a total of hundred dollars fifty dollars I think fifty dollars no it was probably a hundred dollars yeah yeah it was definitely a hundred dollars that I spent of my own money to get all this and um, yeah I hope that clears up some of your questions if you do have any other questions just feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you um, I think that pretty much will sum it all up so just kind of a little disclaimer so you guys know 
exactly how everything worked and what happened and whatever. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can scroll through my Instagram, you can see the picture, you can go to Tarte Cosmetics, you can see it and you can see all about it. So um, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, I do leave it linked down below as well so you can follow me, but my name is Kristen Mack, K-R-I-S-T-E-N-M-A-C, and then three more C's, so M-A-C-C-C-C, -C -C -C. I think I got that right, so anyways, it's linked down below, so anyways, enjoy the video guys, bye. So as I said, I have a huge box here, I have um, $1,300, $1,200, I have $1,200 worth of uh, products in this box here so there is quite a few things so um, I'll do some swatches and um, not some swatches on everything because uh, we would be here all day and this is already going to be a long video so if you haven't already make sure to go grab yourself a drink and maybe a snack because this could be a long video so I do apologize beforehand. So the first item that I have is this palette here and once you open it, it looks like this. So I thought I would show you guys this palette first because this is the palette that I'm using on my face today. I'm using pretty much, um, well not the entire palette, but everything that can be used here. I left a little film on the top here so that you guys, um, or so that I don't forget like what all the colors and stuff are. So basically everything that I'm using here, um, I'm using this color here, champagne, as a highlight. I am using the middle color here as a blush. I'm using this color as a base coat. I am using this as basically like my all over color and then I use this color here just on the outsides of my eyes. I don't know if you can see that just like on the outside here just kind of smudge that in. So this is that palette. Now this is called the Rainforest Cafe palette and I absolutely love this palette. When I first went to go pick this up I thought it was going to be super tiny because like in the picture it looks like you know it's like this big but it's actually like you know look at it it's almost like the size of my face so it's a really nice big palette and it's beautiful. Overall I really enjoy this palette so far. So the next thing that I got was this little kit here is um, a little three-piece set that I got and it has um, some of the oil in it it has one of the lip surgeons in it and it also has one of the cheek stains in it I'm not gonna go ahead and open this because it's pretty basic but just so you guys get an idea of what this is I think it was only like maybe $14 or something so I got the I believe it's called the poppy eye palette I'm not too sure, it just says golden days and sultry nights on it. So when you open it, you get this little card that gives you the golden days and then on the back side it gives you the sultry look. This is what the actual palette looks like once you have it out, it's really really pretty. I haven't touched this palette yet, so I can't really give you too much insight on this one yet. Here are what the colors look like, so they're really really pretty, I'll just go ahead and I'll maybe give you guys a little look of what that looks like. This color here is really beautiful and that's what that color there looks like. So they're really really pretty colors. So ignore my last uh, name for the palette. This one here is the Poppy palette. Um, this is a really beautiful packaging. It says on the back it's inspired by bright floral hues of season and the sleek eye and cheek palette includes flattering sun-kissed shades to take on any summer adventure. So one thing that I should mention is all of these products are cruelty free. Um, so if you are vegan, then you probably would enjoy Tarte Cosmetics. Um, I am in no way being paid or sponsored for this video. Um, this is all just my opinion. So again, once you open it, you get one of the little cards like this to give you some looks, um, some inspired looks. And this is what this palette looks like. It's kind of... Um, how would you like mirrored I guess you would say in a way so it looks like this here this is another one that I didn't use yet this is what this one looks like um, I left the plastic on the on the top again so that I can still kind of um, see uh, the names of the shadows and stuff so in the middle there we have um, the blush called glisten and that is a beautiful blush I've never actually um, used it yet but um, all the products that they have on the website that are glisten are so beautiful. That's what that little color looks like there. And I'll just swatch that on my hand there. 
So it's just like a nice, really like shimmery kind of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way because this is huge um, and there's a lot in here. So basically what this is, um, I'll show you the top here. It's called Glossier Heart and it's a 15 piece gloss set. They're like little mini ones. Um, I believe this is around $34. I think this is such a great value for the amount of products that you get in in um, this little box here. You get 15 little mini shadows which look like this here and you can't really pick it up on the camera but they are so shimmery and so pretty. So you get like your pink colors here. Then you get more of like your nude colors here. Then you get more of like your red tones in this one here. So they're really, really pretty. It comes with three of them like this. They are so gorgeous. I love them. I can't wait to try these. I haven't tried them yet, but I know already that I'm going to love these. So I got the Lights Camera Action um, Eyeliner, I guess it's called, which looks like this here. Um, I am wearing this on my waterline underneath today. And this is by far one of the best eyeliners that I have used today. It's just in the solid color black. I believe it was probably around uh, $20. It says it's 12 hours of intense triple black definition. It's waterproof formula and it won't fade, run, or budge. So I don't know. I had my makeup on for a couple hours now and this is what that looks like. So you guys can be the judge of that. So the next thing that I got was the um, formula, or not formula, sorry, uh, light pink formula it says on here it's a light beige um, foundation so this here is supposed to be a 12 hour full coverage foundation I am wearing this foundation on my face today and I've wore it one other time already so far and I do have to say that for the price it is a little bit more steep but this particular foundation is actually so good and it might be one of my new favorite foundations I don't know but so far I am loving this foundation so this here is the skinny smolder um, eyeliner it is and uh, it's in the Amazonian clay waterproof liner and yeah there's not too much more to say about that I haven't tried this yet so I'm just gonna leave that in there um, there's not really much sense in taking that out but I heard a lot of good things about these so I'm excited to try this at some time so I also got the tartlet palette which looks like this here so that is what that looks like on the inside I hope you guys can see that okay I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror here but really um, neutral beautiful colors they look to be all matte so I'm excited to try this one as well um, again if there's anything that you guys want me to try out and do a review on or anything just leave a comment down below and I will certainly try to do that for you guys so this here is the double-ended contour stick um, there was so many mixed reviews on this that I seen on the Tarte website as well as the Sephora website because I went on different websites to look and see like what other people's views and opinions were of things before I just went ahead and grabbed things that I wanted to try myself. And um, I also took a lot of recommendations for people that uh, mentioned on Instagram things that were good or um, people who might have commented on a status or something anywheres. I tried to pick up some things um, that people were recommending. A few people have recommended this so I thought I would give it a try and I am wearing this today. I don't know if you can see it that much. This here is the highlighter end and this here is the contour end. I do love this. This is a really good product. If you haven't tried it, I recommend you to try it because it is really, really nice. I think it does its job and it's definitely worth the money. So I also got this here. Um, what is it it's the um it's like a bronzer it is the instant matte waterproof bron waterproof body perfecter um in the rainforest glow so basically if you just want like not a committed tan you just want to have like you know that one night kind of glow if you're going out somewhere and you just want a little bit of a glow then this is what you put on so um, there's quite a big tube here I haven't tried this yet I am going to try it maybe tomorrow um, so we'll see how that is then and um, there's a little mitt in here that you go ahead and you put it on your hand and you just kind of like rub it on your body wherever you're going to use that. So I'm excited to try this. This should be interesting to try. So the next thing that I got here was the full coverage airbrush foundation. Looks like this here. 
So this is what that looks like on the inside. I got this in the color light beige. It's supposed to be for light skin with a pink undertone. I wasn't really loving this product. I mean, it's okay. Um, if I had have paid like 50 some dollars for this though, I wouldn't have been too impressed. The only reason why I'm not really a huge fan of it, I don't know if you can tell here, but there's like a screen and the product just kind of falls out, but I find it's kind of hard to get it out sometimes. So I'm just not really a huge fan of it. So the next thing that I got was the Tardiest Eyeliner. I've heard so much about this and so many people have been raving about this. I'm also wearing this on my um, upper eye above my lashes here today as well. This is so easy to use if you haven't got it already or tried it. I definitely recommend this. This is probably one of my favorites that I got so far. So the next thing that I got here is the Park Avenue Princess um, Contour Volume 2. Um, this is the second edition. There is the first edition and this is the second edition. They didn't have the first one available on their website but basically they have Park Avenue Princess Glisten and Champagne in here. Um, I have used Glisten and Champagne in um, the first palette that I think I showed you so this is a really really pretty palette. Um, I haven't really got a chance to use this one in particular yet but it should be pretty good. So I only got one brush from Tarte and I got the um, the Buffer Airbrush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush. So this is what this one here looks like. I did use this today for um, the foundation that was in this little, you know, the little pot with the mesh um, sort of uh, insert thing so I use this with that and this brush is so soft and it works so well. Um, I don't know if I would go out and spend $42 or $44, however much it was Canadian, but it is a really, really good brush and I do like this overall. So I guess I'll just get this out of the way here. Um, this is um, a little uh, kit thing that I got and basically inside of this there's a little makeup bag and then there's one of the lip surgeons is in here and then there is a, um, what do they call it? Uh, Oh, a lash primer. That's what this one is. This is the lash primer. This It's kind of hard to see, but this is the lash primer, and then this is the lip surgeon. I'm not going to open this because I have a ton of lip products to test for you guys, so that is what that looks like, and I believe that was $38, so it was a pretty good price. I do love the little clutch that's in that. Um, it'll be really cute to put some makeup things in, like, you know, if you're just going out for the night or something like that. So I also went ahead and got the Energy NAR um, palette, which looks like this here, and then these are the colors, what they look like on the inside. They're really, really pretty colors. I'll just go ahead and swatch like a couple of them here for you so you can kind of see what they look like. They are so pigmented, beautiful colors. So there's a swatch of some of the colors. So they're really nice, like neutral kind of colors that you can use for the fall. I haven't used this particular palette yet either. Um, be almost impossible for me to use all these palettes so quick, but um, I'm so excited to like get into all these different palettes and start creating looks and see what everything looks like. So um, that one should be really pretty because I'm a more kind of a neutral person. I like neutral shades and pinks and you know light kind of colors and stuff like that. So. I also got the Park Avenue Princess um, Bronzer. This was the one that I believe a lot of people got in their Ipsy bag for July, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, some people might already be familiar with this. This is what this looks like, and I'll do a little swatch here. So that's what that looks like. It's a really light, um, shimmery kind of bronzer. Now, this is supposed to be um, waterproof as well, I believe. Longer, truer wear, and Brazilian bronze bombshell finish. So that's what that one looks like. So I also got the little Tarte um, primer, which looks like this. This was a free item that I got in the mix of all this stuff that I got. And um, I am using this today, and it seems to be holding off pretty well. So, so far, so good on this one. So I also got two little mini samples of the... Um, Heart Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion in SPF 30. So these were um, freebies that I got. Um, if you spend so much money on their website, then you get like, I guess what you call points, and then you can redeem things. So this was what I decided to add to my cart. They are the perfect little size to put in your purse if you're traveling. Like, I go down south a lot, so... Um, 
these would be perfect to have in your purse so like when you don't have um, your access to your suitcase as soon as you get down south you have the sunscreen in your purse so that you can use that right away which is always helpful so these should be really cute I haven't tried them yet because clearly it is pretty much uh, fall here right now it's really dark and dreary and cloudy and rainy and stuff like that so I won't need this until next year but this should be pretty good so just two little uh, sharpeners that I got here I got one in the bigger size and one in the smaller size, one for the um, the bigger uh, pencils to sharpen and one for the smaller ones, so not too exciting. I'm sure they're probably good. I just threw them in the cart so that I would make sure I have them. I'm sure I probably have a ton already, but I thought that they would be good to have. So I got this little mini tart um, cheek stain here. I'm not going to open this and swatch this because uh, I may put this in like a giveaway in the future. I haven't used it, so I might... Uh, put that in a giveaway but I love their cheek stains I've had many of them in the past and I do love their cheek stains so I also got this little mini set of the same cheek stain that I just showed you um, but then it also comes with uh, the um, like the the lip pen or whatever you call it I haven't tried that yet either as you can probably already tell so so I'm getting there I have a few things left in this box so let's uh, keep on going in here try not to make this video forever but that's kind of hard not to do all right so I got four power pigments um, they're, they're the lip surgeons and these are the power pigments so I got four colors I got um, the color lively fearless tipsy and glisten so that's what these here look like out of the box I haven't tried these yet but I can already tell you I'm not a huge fan of them because the smell of them, like they just smell um, like minty or something, but I'll try them out and we'll see. So there's the color Glisten, it's a nice nude color. So then next to that we have Fearless. Then on the bottom there we have Tipsy, this is the one that I was most excited to try. Then on the bottom there we have Lively which is like a nice hot pink color. So there's a close-up of what all four of those different colors look like. Um, I'm not sure which color is my favorite right now. They probably will be good. Um, just not a huge fan of them just by based on like what the smell is and stuff. But we'll give them a try and see how they are. Got three lip glosses. I got the color Flush, Tipsy, and Park Avenue Princess. So here's what these look like outside of the packaging. These are so cute. I love the packaging on these. They're super, super pretty. And these I am going to love. The smell of them, like they smell like cake or candy or something like that. So there's the first swatch of Glisten. This is a nice nude color and it has a lot of sparkle in it. And the one underneath we have is Tipsy. This is a nice like nudie pink color. So that looks like that. This is a nice like kind of bright pink color. And again, they smell so, so good. I love these. Um, they're going to be really, really pretty. They're really pigmented and I mean, they're, they're kind of sticky. Like when I go to touch them, they are a little bit sticky, but that doesn't really bother me a whole lot. So um, I'm kind of used to that with lip glosses and stuff, but I am super excited to continue using those. Those are probably going to be one of my other favorites out of everything so far. So I got a little concealer which looks like this here. Um, I got this color in light medium beige. So that's what this looks like. I am not wearing this today but I did try this on and I do like it. Um, that's just a little swatch right there so you guys can kind of see what that looks like against my skin tone. Um, if I was to rate that out of 1 to 10, I would say it's probably maybe like a 6.5 kind of. Um, the only reason is because I don't find it gives a whole lot of coverage, um, but it does do a good job. But I probably wouldn't pay like the amount of money um, that they charge for it. So This is the other concealer that I got. This is a full coverage concealer and I got the color... I think I got um, I got the color medium I'm wearing this on my face today I don't know if you guys can you well I mean I'm sure you can see it but anyways I love this concealer this is amazing like the coverage on this you need like the tiniest little dab of this 
and just go ahead and put like a little dab on my hand there. So this is a little dab that I put on here and just like look at how much coverage that is. Like it's it's a full coverage and I absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite concealers that I have tried to today so far. So I got one of these lipsticks in the um, like the bamboo look. It was on sale. I got it because it was in a pink shade. So that's what this here looks like. This is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today. I love this color. So I don't know if you can tell or you can see that, but this is the color that I have on today and I really like it. It's like a nice deep pink color. It goes on super, super smooth. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. It's in the color Foxy. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's in the color Foxy in case you're interested and it is gorgeous and I love it. So one of the next things that I got here is one of their 16 hour blushes, which looks like this. I got this in the color Doll Face. I haven't used this yet, um, so I'm not really sure how it will last, but there's the color, what that looks like. It's like your nice like Barbie pink kind of color. And I'll do a little swatch of that for you guys. So there's what it looks like on my finger. You can see it's like a nice bright pink color. It actually doesn't come off as bright um, when you swatch it. It's kind of more like a like a, a darker pink sort of, but that will be really pretty. I'm excited to kind of go ahead and, and use this. So the next thing that I got here is this smooth, um, it's like the finishing powder sort of is what they call that. Here's what the inside of that looks like and I am wearing this all over my face today so I do find this works pretty well. I've only used it the one time so I can't really give like a whole in-depth review on it but I do really really like this stuff so far. It seems really really good and um, I am so lost in so many boxes I can't find anything anymore. Here it is. Um, but it comes with two of these little mini um, brushes so that you can you know go ahead and apply it all over your face like that so I thought that was really neat um, that it comes with two of those so I got a mini sample of the gifted mascara I only got a little one because I am kind of hooked on a couple of my own sort of mascaras that I've been loving so um, this was recommended by a few people on Instagram so I thought I would give this a try and I am wearing it on my eyelashes today so I do like it it is pretty good but um, I don't find it gives as much of a coverage as like you know some of my regular mascaras do so this is another bronzer that I got it's um like a pink bronzer it looks like this on the inside and it is so beautiful I'll just go ahead and see if I can give you guys a little swatch there you can kind of see the different colors going through my finger there um, so that is really pretty I haven't got a chance to use this one yet either so I can't give you too much in depth about that but um, this was on sale and it does look like it'll be pretty. Um, it's called Park Avenue Princess Pink Bronze in case you're interested in trying that. Alright, so one of the last things that I got here is a ton of lipsticks like this here. Um, I got, whoops, <laughs> I got pretty much every color um, that you could get. So I can try them all. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about these. A lot of people were recommending them so I thought I would give them a try. They have the cutest packaging, like when you take them out, they look like this, and each one of the different um, colors are all different like packaging, so they're super cute. So that is Watermelon. Then we have Angelic Nude. Golden Pink. This is the Tartlet in the Ethereal Pink, I think it's pronounced. So that is Pink Peony. And then we have Coral Blossom. That is one of my favorites right there is the Coral Blossom. So that is a look at all the different shades of the lipsticks I got. Favorite one so far to today is this one here, this coral color. Love it. So the very last thing that I got out of this whole entire haul are some freebies here. 
So these are some uh, tanning wipes and then we got a Park Avenue Princess bronzer and then over here we got like some foundation samples on this little card here and then we have some blush samples and those are all I believe in Dollhouse which I bought so I do like it so um, we'll get some use out of this. These might be good to like throw in your purse or something like that so quite a few little samples here anytime you place an order you get one of these in here for free and then you get to pick like either one of these or these or one of the bronzers so that is everything for this huge entire um tar cosmetics haul so um i hope you guys all enjoyed this video i hope you guys like the things that i got if anybody has any tips or anything for a way how i can store all this stuff um, or organizing it please leave it in the comments down below because there's quite a bit of stuff and I'm not too sure how to like organize it I'm not really that crafty in that department so anyways if you haven't already please be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you did enjoy this video and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos um, especially if I do some makeup tutorials or anything like that with um, all of this stuff that I got here so uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get updates on when a new video is out and until next time as I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys